Hey guys, today uh, I kind of wanted to do a quick video kind of discussing a little bit more in detail about a video I did a while back because I receive hate comments on this video like crazy. I mean absolutely wildfire. I get dozens and dozens of comments every single day like pretty much bashing me because they, they all think what I'm saying didn't happen, it's untrue, and how dare you make fun of my childhood favorite YouTuber. And today I, I just thought I would talk about this situation in its own dedicated video because this is definitely one of the most wild and truly insane roblox situations that have ever happened on youtube and the craziest part is like nobody knows about this situation all because a lot of youtubers didn't talk about it out of respect for the party involved which is totally fair i totally get that and the only reason i'm talking about this today is because this youtuber does not deserve praise and i think they are a pretty bad person now before i even get into this video i just quickly want to say thank you guys so much for 30,000 subscribers. I'm truly so thankful to have the amazing fan base I have. You guys are like so awesome and I, I love you guys so much. I'm so genuine when I say that. You guys are truly such amazing people. I'm so glad we're building such an awesome community. But if you want to join this community, you can also subscribe if you're not already. Uh, make sure you are. But guys, we're going to get into today's video. Now, this is definitely going to be a way more serious video and like I said, I just want to clarify this one more time. The only reason why I'm publicly talking about this is this youtuber has returned and people should know what this dude was doing because literally nobody knows Creecraft made a post pretty much telling all the Roblox commentary youtubers and just all the youtubers in general not to talk about this situation on YouTube and I think that's fair I totally agree with that but when tofu has come back and he's making videos and people don't know what he was doing while his time was off that I just don't agree with that and I think that everybody should know about what tofu is done and what type of degenerate he actually is so i'm gonna go ahead and start from the very beginning on this story so pretty much there is a roblox youtuber family they're not actually like a family of youtubers the dad is the main youtuber the kids and the wife are never shown in the youtube videos pretty much at all but this is a roblox youtuber now to summarize this whole situation tofu made a post on instagram regarding the wife of this popular youtuber and allegedly they were exchanging explicit photos but this was later confirmed to be true when she went on her Twitter account and pretty much confirmed all of this information. The father is a very popular Roblox YouTuber. I, of course, am not going to say which YouTuber this is, but man, he is the true and only victim in this situation, and my heart breaks for this dude, man. Now, I'm going to get on to my opinion about Tofu in a second, but I do want to address a few comments that were left on my video in regards to this, and a lot of people are saying, isn't this also the wife's fault? Now, listen, I do think that the wife does have some accountability in this, but the thing is, this really isn't our place to speculate on this situation because this is like all private information and we don't really know the true depths of this situation. So it really wouldn't be fair to come to an ultimate judgment in regards to that side of the story because like I said, we just don't know what really happened behind the scenes. We don't know the full story and who's really to blame here. But who is most definitely to blame in this situation is Tofu because Tofu knew this person had a husband and kids, a whole family. He he knew that and decided to go ahead and let his urges take play and that is honestly disgusting and reprehensible and why I think no one should watch or support Tofu's new videos. That is the type of person that Tofu was when he was away during his like year-long hiatus. And I think the most disgusting part about all of this is that he was friends with this Roblox YouTuber. Like they were both friends. I remember them both making videos together back in the day and to have a pretty much a virtual virtual affair with your friend's wife that also has two kids that are also involved in this, you could have not have only destroyed this father's life because that is something that can really ruin people because it can destroy future relationships and trust with people for a lifetime. Not only to mention that, there's also two kids that are also involved here. Who knows what could have potentially happened here? But I'm just really hoping that everyone ends up on top and I am respecting these YouTubers' wishes, but I definitely definitely think it's worth mentioning this situation 
to tell people Tofu is not a good person. He is willing to screw over his friends and their family for some stupid photos. And the thing is, there is not a single valid scenario that I could even comprehend that would give any form of reason to chatting up your friend's wife who they have kids with. Like, that is so evil on so many levels. And I think everyone should take note when they see this dude's videos pop up in their feed. I genuinely believe that is one of the worst things you can do to another human. Like, that, it really is because they have to live with that for a lifetime. Like, you've put a lifetime of trauma on a family. But I don't know, man. I I'd like to hear back from you guys on this situation. And to all of the people that were commenting on my last video being like, he's my childhood YouTuber. Listen, we all had childhood YouTubers. I had childhood YouTubers. And guess what? A lot of them ended up being pretty bad people. I used to watch Lion Maker. And I, I don't even need to give any explanation on what happened to that dude. He was one of my favorite Minecraft YouTubers. And look at what he did. Did I keep watching him after that and be like, oh, it's okay. I actually watched him when I was a kid. No, I didn't. So I, I really think everybody should take into account what this dude has actually done and realize that this dude doesn't deserve a platform or your viewership. And I just want to reiterate this one more time. The only reason why I'm talking about this is because this YouTuber has came back in the last few days. He was on a hiatus for about a year and he finally came back and people are like, yo, this dude's finally back. He's a good person. Let's all go watch him again. This dude does not deserve your viewership. But I don't know. I, I want to hear back from you guys on this situation. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think on this YouTuber. This situation did happen, just to clarify, because people said I didn't have enough proof in the last video. Both sides confirmed this. Tofu confirmed this, and the wife confirmed it. So this is a real situation. These aren't allegations against them. They both confirmed this. But guys, I think we're wrapping up towards the end of today's video. If you liked today's video, make sure to let me know all of your thoughts on everything we talked about. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's video here. Bye, everyone!